So, welcome to our very bad internet connection, Bali HQ uh, in Ubud, and um, we are just doing a quick tutorial now on Discord, the alternative uh, to Steamit.chat as a really effective way to post-promote your work. Um, you will need to download the Discord app. Uh, I will provide links uh, underneath this video for the Discord app and um, channels that you will need to join within Discord uh, to post promote in the right places. So once the app is downloaded, you open it. Um, before you do any of this, you find the, um, the post that you want to post promote, you copy the link at the top of the page go into Discord right and we're in now you'll notice on the left I've got a number of different potential places where I can post um, all of these you can only join if you are invited to join them I'm not 100% sure why they established this method that make it hard for newcomers to join them? Um, it does make it a bit tricky for newcomers to join. So as a member, I have access to this area here that says invite people. I create a link, copy it, and send it to my friend. Um, probably a good idea to set to never expire. Um, you would click on that link and you would have that channel opened to you and within that channel there are loads of places for you to post promote steam trail is a great one really great um, I'm gonna do a separate tutorial on steam trail and how that works but uh, it's very much worth your while to post promote in discord now I will provide the links to these channels uh, the three that are the most important here um, at the bottom of this video. This is one of my own that I've created, Cataday. I'm trying to encourage people to post pictures of uh, their cats on three cats. on Cataday. Of course, I appear to be the only person doing that. Anyway, in time it'll grow. <laughs> That's me with my beautiful cat prints. Uh, Steam Shop is also something that we have created. Uh, it, it's in development still and. Um, more info on that coming soon. So, um, getting back to post promotion, uh, look out for what the tags are and see what other people are doing. Try not to post in uh, tags that are chat only. Um, try to keep it relevant. Is it always obvious if it's chat only? It is always obvious that it's chat only because you just scan up and you see there's no one posting. They're just chatting, you know? Yep. It's pretty obvious just from that. So um, try and keep it relevant to what you are doing, particularly in Steam Trail, which has a much uh, wider uh, list of topics, uh, categories. Um, you can pretty much find whatever you're looking for in here. It'll fit a few of these at least. And there are curators for each of these. People looking out for the good posts. So you are more likely to do well. So what would happen if the curator likes what he sees, he will then put you into uh, another channel where other curators can see the best of the best in one place and upvote you more ultimately because that will help them too if you are suddenly spiraled to a higher payout. Um, what people tend to do is upvote you and then re-steam you to their network which ultimately helps them because the post increases after their upvote. Um, so that's it. One other thing I want to say about, Ste um, about Discord is the ease in which you can post. So say for example, I, I want to post now 
the topic is uh, I went to a Bitcoin meetup. Um, what do I put it in? Steam it. It was really about Steam it because I've been asked to do a Steam it talk um, alongside another amazing man. Uh, Steam it. They don't have Steam it. Uh, they've got Steam Economy. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Steam gigs. Story. Well, it's a story, right? We're gonna whack it in story. Oh, that's the wrong link. So go back to your post. There it is. Take that. Uh, back to Discord, whack your link in there. And the great thing about Discord is it finds your photo and adds it automatically. So there's no having to ask around, adding a bit of extra code into um, into your post, as I demonstrated for steamit.chat. Okay, guys, I hope that's been helpful. Um, one other point to make, if you want to link up with friends on Discord, uh, look down here, you can see my name. There is a number and a hashtag after my name. You find friends with that number. So for example, I'm here with Michael Vegas um, and I wanted to connect with him. So I went to friends and I entered his number. In fact, I haven't done it yet, let's do it now. So your number is hash Four two four nine. Four two four nine. I think so. Oh well, no, it's Vegas with an A. There we go. Okay, you're right. Name first, then hash, then their number. So your friend can tell you their number, and then you can hook up here, which basically means you can communicate directly in a much uh, simpler fashion than they have currently on Steemit. And then when I receive your okay. invitation, it will appear in the pending zone of your uh, yeah. screen. Okay, so Michael's just pointed out he has received my invitation and is it is uh, it's popped up here in the pending box. Maybe click on it so they can see. So you've got to accept me now. Okay. Friends and and write me a message. There. Write me a message. Maybe that's it. You got to write me a message. I think that's what it is. Yeah, we got, got to talk to each other before the love is there visually. Ah, ah, there he is. Right. So now we can communicate directly here. Hello, bro. Michael Vegas is typing. So right, guys, you get the idea. Uh, that's how to use the private chat service on Discord. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Have fun. Thank <laughs> you.